Welcome back, welcome back. No day stay streaming. Subscribe, comment, drop a like if you haven't. Today, like one of our previous Max Wheel video, we're gonna do the kickstart of Google competition again. Let's see how many questions we did. Last time we couldn't even get through the first one because we couldn't pass them test cases. But here we go, here we go. We just did a streak too, so we are a little bit warm up. Let's do Python. I do MATLAB, Mr. MATLAB. <laughs> Octave is here. View string containing only letters in alphabets. In the gram is a string that comes in exactly the same letters as S, but in different order. A smelling a sort. I, um, I letter in S. We say that an anagram of S is shuffled if and only if. For all SI no equals AI. Okay. I limit the sort. Like every letter is it needs to be in a different place. Okay, we either print one double anagram or say it's impossible. Oh, that's what I plan to do. Should I write somewhere else? It doesn't auto complete. Oh, yeah, right here it doesn't really matter. Let's think, let's think through this first, right? Tell us how many test cases you have, and then... I'm not good enough to worry about this stuff. <laughs> and... Process through each input. I 
think it's easier to say if it's impossible than to generate one. <laughs> I think we can like build a dictionary and then uh, I feel just randomly. I was thinking we can maybe first build a dictionary pointing from Or like a counter, like a counter, see how many each letter is left. Um, and when you look through the original string, you don't, uh, you can dr draw from the other cabinets. It's a little bit randomness. But if it's not drawn, Carefully, but it could it could very well make the rest not possible. I guess so. If you sort the frequency of those counter, you first. Uh, you prioritize taking the max frequency ones out first. Yeah, so I like you fill in the buckets. You have like A's and B's and uh, C's. Let's say you have like uh, three A's. And then you form, want to form a A C F four B's and then one C's. Kind of big, huh? You want to form like a A B C A A B B B. So like you would for the first one you you're not supposed to take A. So we have to like take the highest one first. This has to be B. And then uh, they're equal then. <laughs> There's no difference. Um You go in the next one, it cannot be B, so I pick from A and C, so I have to pick an A first. And the next one is C, you cannot pick C. So you pick from A and B, so you pick B because B has more left. And the next one is A. 
cannot pick an A, so you have to pick B and D. B has more left, so you pick B. Next one is still A though. Um, you want to pick B and C. They're the same, so it doesn't matter. I'm gonna just take B. Next one is B. So you take uh, A because A is more, and then you pick A, C. That's one uh, shuffled anagrams. So I guess you kind of like count how many each letter there are, and then you start populating. Um, you would, uh, I guess, go from the one that has the most left. You pop it in. And when is it not possible? It's not possible when you, for example, when you're trying to, like, uh, maybe... When you're trying to find, let's say you orig in the original place you have an A, so you're trying to find B or C, but B and C both run out. Impossible. Um, um, anagram. Anytime you're trying to look for a subset, um, and the subset doesn't exist, then um, you'll be a problem. You'll be in trouble. That's what uh, the code I'm gonna run. This logic I'm gonna follow. Um, Because I'm gonna process strings into um, into a dictionary. What's the counter thing? <laughs> this might be kind of slow though if you want to keep track of the max or the max is.
It returns none that is GG'd. <laughs> Dursai, Rakesh, thanks for the suggestion. Hey, let me try to read it. Optimization if it's more than half of the string length, then it's just impossible. It's more than half the string. True, true. That's a good point. I think it would save. I think it would save good enough time for like short, short uh, words like kick and yeah. Let's get that basic base case working first. So thank you for the suggestion. Character. Look okay, if you can modify the the reference. I guess I'll modify it after afterwards. You could return none. My regular has set. Actually, I'm gonna swap has set. Even though it's not so comfortable. <laughs> So after after the helper function, what's next we do? What's the next thing we do? Uh, guess we constructed result string. Thank you. 
chaffe oh. Euh, string. Ça va le whole function and then we process the input outside and then pass it pass the word one by one guess we return the input the word return an anagram or none like the word for a uh, character in the word I guess I do I in the iterator instead range in the original character and um, if care to add is none return none otherwise add it at the character to add and then uh, in the counter I need to update because I used it already it equals same thing minus one return uh, Results. The next one it just calls again. That's the function. I think that would work. Is there a test mode? get this what's this Get this. Is one of them a test? What? 
Okay. So Ko is here, Test Kiss is, is, is here. Um, okay. Parse input from command. So do a parse like this maybe? Can I please copy the code once and try? Not yet. <laughs> I need to. I need a way to get the input in. <laughs> I'm trying to. So I already finished the code, but I need to like parse this test input first. <laughs> Otherwise, it doesn't work. I mean, I could, but it's not not really gonna help. That's weird. Input? How do you do that? Python uh, uh, input. I guess there's a raw input, I guess. Does it give you a list? Oh. Okay, let me do that. One sec. Interesting. 
num test cases put for I in range number of test cases. Minus one. <laughs> um, no, actually, I don't need a minus one. I don't think it does it for me. Um, current string equals input. Save input in variable and don't need negative one. Okay, yeah, they don't need a negative one. This is saving the input though. And then I'll call my function shuffled anagram <laughs> return string. If return string print return string else print impossible. Then you convert them to lower cases, etc. Something like this. Let's run test. Why is it so slow when running this stuff? Open up like Pi Charm or something. Thank you. 
Huh? Wait, this was my previous... Was this the previous one? I think this was the previous one. <laughs> Yikes. In something in line 33. Oh, now we know. Let's, let me get this environment running though. To run this. that in there and they run again. <sighs> For God, this is not... Where is this? Sir Shackney... Welcome to the welcome to the squad. We are doing a Google Kickstart. Oh, really? Surprising. Surprising. <laughs> Normally, if someone is good in, good at test taking, you would skip this question and go to the next one. <laughs> I think my logic is good. You're in VC right now with your friends. What's VC? The only VC I know is like venture capitalist. Kidding me. <laughs> oh, voice chat. Nice. Much appreciated for the following. Hope you enjoy the pseudo daily. Pseudo daily studying. Study every day, we improve every day. It's actually very noticeable when you do this kind of stuff. I guess I run this.
that be by two? Uh, how does it start? Thanks for the follow, Arigit22, we monkey. Hope you all enjoy the pseudo daily study streaming. Pseudo because sometimes I have social life <laughs> and I cannot commit to a stream that day, but hey, we study every day, improve every day. Hey, hello there, Slaydron. Welcome to thanks for following. Study every day, improve every day. Try the. Oh, I want to skip it. I want. <laughs> at, at least I want to not have runtime error. <laughs> you want? Got a good day tonight. There was a Dwight Howard interview. <laughs> Using a greedy approach. I don't think I'm that greedy in this approach because I kind of kind of um, arrange them into cabinets and then I just grab the um, grab the one with the max frequency and then put it in. And uh, if I don't have anything left in the in the bucket, I want to grab in the bucket. I want to grab. I will return the none, which is impossible. Thanks for the following, Slaydron. Yeah. Because otherwise, I don't know how to guarantee. But you don't, you don't accidentally get rid of some possibility later. <laughs> yep, that's a. Uh, if any character is larger than half the length, like uh, someone else above suggested, um, who was it? Sai Rakesh suggested it was an optimization case. I run this business. I was checking test cases and I forgot. Start GGJ. What the fuck? to add hydrate <laughs> I don't know how it sounds. Does it sound like ASMR? <laughs> Try the better match the most frequently occurring characters first, in my opinion, but I could be wrong. I think it's the same with approach. I agree with that approach. <laughs> Windows, hey, I do have a Linux. <laughs> and you know, the reason that I use. Um, Windows is that because there are a lot of I'm a mechanic hardware engineer so a lot of things we use only run in Windows <laughs> but hey I was, I was running I actually own a Mac Air from like 2012 and then converted it to um, Ubuntu but it's too slow so I never really use it <laughs> but even here even here I was running a Linux subsystem but yeah we do programming, <laughs> Linux is much better. Uh, what the fuck? 
Invalid literal for in with base 10. Nani? Pause to check. <laughs> Yeah, when well, Mats were, were telling us about um, Nerd Next. <laughs> and so I actually bought one of those at Gym Blue Balls and help you spread out body. It's actually very good. Match the most occurring elements first with the second most occurring. How is that connected to the second occurring? It's got there's only one max at the time. Guess well the first one you encounter will be the max. TTT is S A okay. T's with the S and then A. <laughs> then S and A with T. I think they kind of the same approach. Mash the T's with the S. S is the least frequent moon. Hey, just try it out. <laughs> Let us know if it works. <laughs> we'll copy your answer. Like <laughs> for that, for this competition is so BS. I could literally get like ten people. 10 people and then we walk in the same room and then we just share answers afterwards. <laughs> Man, I hate this uh, processing of strings. <laughs> it's so annoying. Just here for the experience. I don't really care. I don't think I'll even go to Google, even if they give me the offer. <laughs> Not trying to impress anyone. for like fun and personal improvement don't really care about the ranks and all the jazz which is why this text thing is really annoying me that's okay stretch I'll show you guys how I stretch which one is a stretch? Uh, Raise fist. <laughs> and what's that called?
Yikes, I don't have a stretch. Never mind. Um, okay. With the list of integers. Two in this case. Nine thirty three. God damn it, I want... <laughs> I want Python. <laughs> User input, but you pass input as arguments. Oh, wait, how should I change it though? I thought. I thought all the like the two star JJJ they all come at the same time like one liner. I was under the impression that input reads re input reads the one by one. I think I might understood what you said. Um, should I not do this part? Two. Uh, start. Okay, I think I understood what you did. What you said. Okay, they can cat in the list to this. Are you fucking kidding me? Know how to test it? Why is it giving me start? Because <laughs> the indentation is wrong. this works. Up to a point. <laughs> Wait, where is it? Oh, here. Dead. 
ですTry it once? Like, how? I already ran it. Uh, yeah, fuck this. I'm not gonna <laughs> bother debugging because I don't know what the issue is. this code though. Should I check some... the input length <laughs> what if input is zero um, then this whole thing is empty This for loop is basically gone, he returned none. I think he would expect uh, a true or something. Um, no, it should, it should be none, never mind. Because it doesn't matter how you arrange it, it's gonna be empty. Can I try strat? Sure. S T A R T T. This one different, 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 different. Yeah. And then S T A R T T. Yeah, it works. It's a little bit annoying how it doesn't. 
tell me what wrong answers it has. Zero case is fine. Who else would that break? This noi make sure it's not the same character and then uh, max frequency gotta be larger than zero. Uh, otherwise it's gonna just return done. So plus character to add then update if it's not larger than zero it's always gonna return none. Can't tell what could be wrong. Tell me the last one was easy. I'm gonna try. I don't know what's wrong with that. <laughs> Do a break time. You know what? I'm gonna dance. Go to the restroom.
Oh, you want me to... I'm back. You want me to copy this code? Over somewhere? Shit, I don't know. How do I do that? Uh... Still like a... Go drive somewhere. I don't know why you want to do that, but sure. <laughs> um. I'll leave it there. It's not useful. Uh, okay. Let's see if we can earn any points today. Why do you want to try it? It's not... <laughs> it doesn't even work. Just type anything. <laughs> uh, increase sequence card games. I don't know what question I'm doing though. Oh, here. You have not attended this problem. Pleasing sequence card game. You're playing a game, this card game is a single player. There are N cards. Ith card has the other Ith on it. You first show up N cards randomly, put them in a pile. Card on the top of the pile to your hand, then repeat the following process until your pile becomes empty. Check the card on top of the pile. If the number on the card is larger than the number on the last card you took, take the card. Okay. Otherwise, discard the card. This is not even a program question, it's a math question. <laughs>
we really need programming for this. <laughs> Do you run it like a million times and take the average? Also check, hydrate. I'm not gonna hydrate, I just had a whole cup of hot water. <laughs> Let's do the experiment of... Depends on how you normalize it. Shuffle uh, list in Python randomly. Shuffle. Uh, no card deck. Um. Deck goes range and Side zero index or one index.
do a hint. Equals F2 list. Y length of car deck is greater than zero. Wait, why did I do it here? Um, can do it here in the pie charm directly. What's up with the... Uh, my... Scratch files... I want to just do a new file. Uh, let's call it Expected Value. Car game. Yeah, it's so much slower than Lico and <laughs> even binary search. It was some no buff control, Chris. Did the first one, didn't pass some random test cases that I don't know, I don't know about. <laughs> Def, uh, expect it well. Maybe just not just gonna mess with you. <laughs> It'll be the pain of existence. This is kind of like a stack problem. Hint up, pop. Uh, pop wow. It goes car, dick. The pop. Uh, if length of hand is zero. Pop. Wow. Got to be 
large array. If it's larger, take the cart. Uh, hand dot append pop wow else if tbcc should I search that national board certified counselors damn not sure where that came from but okay <laughs> Oh, else if Bob Well, we saw it then And last well Step in it too Else How should you do nothing? <laughs> MBCC No breath control Oh, it was Nico harder? To me this is much harder because I don't know what the test cases are <laughs> And now I respect why they hire people to write test cases <laughs> Um. Game sub. <laughs> it turns some of head. <laughs> but what I'm going to do because what's the? Oh no! I'm just going to pick arbitrary big number. <laughs> This sense gonna be nasty. So I'm gonna be adaptive. I'm gonna be real adaptive. Cause when this number is so big, it kind of approaches the expected value itself. But whereas this one, it's gonna uh this one is also expected already. Steal some code from here. No Miko test cases. Then uh, 
four. Now the size, I want to run it that many times. Uh, J in range. Ten to the This Google's easy contest killed. <laughs> Dear, you know what I should have done? I should ask a Google engineer to come do this with me today. <laughs> that would be me. Fantastic. I'm not sure if they would be up for it though. It's kind of a lot of pressure. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna do it like five times. I do it ten times. Fuck it. <laughs> uh, some go some plus. Game sum current and I know they print it. <laughs> Print float of uh, some do that button like that maybe while you're highlighting shit um <laughs> handsome <laughs> what's a check oh there we go Let's see. So, uh, two, one, two. Actually, I just check it here. It's kind of dumb. Uh, Python card game. Dot py two one. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Isn't it a list? about me eight they are rigid is having fun with the uh, <laughs> with the commands or where are those channel points your NBCC how many channel points do you have <laughs> Probably the max. Mm. Why does pop not work? Uh, and you do this. 
it's kind of kind of stupid. <laughs> Zero one point five, but <laughs> make a plus one to artificially shift it. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six. Some of those big number theory shit. <laughs> uh, let's do five times. Two. Yeah. <laughs> it's quite so. Wait, this is this is not gonna work. We need a more math approach. Let's see. Let's see if we are good at math. <laughs> so let's say you have one. Two, three, four, five, and zero, I guess. And the first step, um, expected value is point, uh, will it be? There's six things, so there's one divided by six uh, times the sum of them. I 
And then the next step, let's say you pick a four. Now you have uh, you only have like one chance of adding value. The rest would be zero. The rest is zero because it's a smaller. So did the five times uh, one out of five. If you did that. You are... you're doomed. <laughs> the rest are always zeros. Um, for the case of... Uh, I guess 0 and 1. You would have... Uh, 1 times 2 times... Basically, one. Then you get, uh, what's the answer? One point zero. Yeah, the next step you could either take zero or one. So if it's you have one half a chance of getting zero, and then you have one half a chance of getting one. Yeah, this is a math; it's not a simulation question. <laughs> so then it's uh, I don't know it's like point five plus one five plus one. Eraser. Too bad, I'm not gonna do that. Let's look at the next case, right? If there's like zero, one, two, then basically you got like one third of chance of the sum on your first draw. On your first draw, um, times three basically and then uh, in the remaining two what's the chance of uh, drawing zero uh, in the second round the chance is that uh, you have to draw non-zero in the first round, so that's two divided by three, and then the remaining um, is one. The only two choices. Uh, same goes for. Um, Times zero, then plus <laughs> but for this one to be useful, uh, you can only draw zero at first because uh, uh, that would be one third, like the number smaller than that, smaller than it. And that the second round is one half a chance that you will get uh, one. And this one, you, there is. I don't, know if, I don't know if this one third is necessary. <laughs> um, well, this is one two actually.
Hold on. Uh, it has to be one or two. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's... Uh, let's assume it's two. Let's not worry about the, the rule first. So basically, the, the two to the three times one half times two. So that's one plus uh, one. So that's two. Is that right? It's one point five. Um, Okay, this way. Uh, this is like how likely he is after you pick one, how the likelihood of you getting this card out of the remaining ones. Then this is the probability that this value is useful. <laughs> that this value is useful is zero. <laughs> Probability of one is useful is one. Probability of two is useful is all, all of it. <laughs> this is the one. This is not right. <sighs> this math. I'm sure this is programming. <laughs> Expected value. Three draws. I guess you need. Uh, yes. Yeah, Let's do that again. The first one. One third chance of getting uh, zero. 100% the value is going to be useful. Uh, the same, same for all of it. Second step, um, two cards remaining. Half a chance of getting the zero card. Zero chance of it being useful. Then one half chance of getting this one card. Uh, one half of chance of it being useful. They better already pick zero or two before. Times its value. Plus uh, one half chance of getting two. Hundred percent going to be useful. Times two. The third car. Uh hundred percent is gonna be uh be picked because there's only one car left. Zero chance it's useful.
think if it ever pick a large, large one, it's not gonna work. <laughs> but this case, this would be zero. Zero chance that it works because it it must have picked up two. Uh, times one. Plus uh, one times hundred percent will get picked. Hundred percent is going to be useful. I know if this is true. <laughs> Let's see what we have here. This step we have one. This step we have 0.5 plus two, 2.5. This one we have two. What's the expected value? 1.5. Thanks. This is probably not the method, right? Other way we can look at it is... When you pick a number, everything lower than that becomes zero. And they just start picking from the top. I think there should be simulation. There's a deterministic. This is a deterministic uh, quantity. I should not do this. Kind of rev and like loop through it. Bad. She don't want to do math.
I'm back. Hey, what's up? Um, I was taking a break. This is mad, this is not programming. <laughs> Arjit updated my code. Take a look. I don't know what you changed though. Does he have those like um, tracking changes stuff? the same <laughs> what's different question what go at the posture in question what rotated thing Is it not seeing your updates or something? Oh, I don't think I allowed the um, editing. I know. Well, I'm trying to see how this um how this works. Comment Something like this I'm gonna read this Oh wait I did edit uh Actually, would you may would you mind putting in the comment? Um, come on, keep that original. If rotate the string, yeah, this is kind of hard to read. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> That's a lot of deletion. You maybe like add here, like uh, suggest a comment to add in the second page. That might be better. This thing is so weird. I should just think it said you as a commenter, right? This is what's needed. There. Just 
play in a different color or something if you want. We can take a look. It feels like if it works, we can probably see more uh, implications and fix more things. I mean, I don't know. Got this one. This one is so nasty. <laughs> wish you learn your statistics a little bit better sometimes. So online diff. It's very different. <laughs> da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. didn't change my code, it's like completely different logic. <laughs> Credit is partial, right? It's better than like, not passing any tests like me. <laughs> What's your logic? Let's take a look. What? strings the one is rotated and then the west string Give up, right? <laughs> really pissed that they don't give out the test cases. It's really nasty. Oh. It could be some really trivial test cases, but you just don't realize that. It's really annoying for me. Shit. 
this one, how do you get 1.5? Oh, there aren't. But someone else is hiring <laughs> a bunch of people. And you get paid to do that. So. You know what's the real though? Like, you might not get test cases, but. You would know what caused your error at least. <laughs> like when they run that, it, caught, it it creates a bug, and you know that input creates a bug, and then you analyze it. But I don't even know what input to shove in. <laughs> it, it had no errors when I run the test cases. Does it provide any test cases? I don't think so, right? Yeah, output matches perfectly. I think. Well, the output is different from this, but... Um, but it's a correct... It, it matches the logic. Wait, it fucking needs a case number? Don't tell me, fuck me. Really? Really? <sighs> That's why I don't like these people, man. I don't like these people. <laughs> Progress is just annoyance. <laughs> that truth is a space to, uh. <laughs> Yikes. Print. Print equals. Oh, mother. Sideways. So I'm gonna run it first. Um, let's see. I think it's terminated the shit. Uh, get out of here. Terminator. Fuck. Two. set up this before VS Code so I trust a little bit more. Oh baby. It's 
that fucking work. <laughs> oh really? It's intensive? Well, probably means there's more tools. Give me that shit! Give me that shit! What? Test set 2 skipped. What does that mean? I don't know, I have Lane BGXD Here a Discord server I used to have it uh, But don't use it much <laughs> Is this partial? I don't know This means actually so samples are passed. Test that one's wrong answer. Okay, so my algo is bad. I don't know if my algo is bad though. <laughs> um, probably didn't handle edge cases maybe. Well, that's kind of same as bad, but anyway. I now pass samples because I added the case numbers. GG! <laughs> yeah, no, man. Possible. Just what I expected. <laughs> yeah, no. How the hell do you get 1.5? It was up there with that, welcome back. the kickstart um, two and a half hours ago <laughs> three you do I have an hour left <laughs> I thought it was um, tomorrow but then when I registered it put me on a calendar and I was like oops it's Saturday <laughs> Trying to figure out this math problem. <laughs> GG. GG meta. What should be the expected value? <laughs>
And then that be kind of like the binary cut. So you get one. You get half of this one. This one point five. Chino. In the sense of probability, like this is absolutely correct, the first round. Second round is uh, the two thirds that this car wasn't picked. Then there's one and a half chance that this is picked. The third round is like this round has to be not picked. This is uh, the same. That's like without deleting anything. But with the deleting. chance that this is useful after one round and that is not here is zero the chance of this being useful after one round is still not one and half and this one uh, times two actually after one round so Still not it, but it would be 100% useful. This is the largest number. This one is zero here. Yeah, I solved the first one. I passed the samples, <laughs> didn't get any credits. I don't know what the test cases are. Go back, Proxy King. I left the code in, uh, where was it? Oh, my God. Uh. After both I pick and 
the one is not big. In third round, there's no chance they will be useful. Okay. And this is like still useful. Drop the link here. There's some comments that I don't know. Some message. But anyway. Oh, baby. Okay, I'll actually should have the calculator. <laughs> uh, first row. Gives me one. To add that right. So it gives me zero. Then uh, one third. One six. Plus uh, one third. Uh, two third. Two third. Plus two three again. The hell? It's <laughs> out to be two point five something. Oh no, man. <laughs> Especially I can pass the, the lower cases. <laughs> if I do like this much. So check. This is like simulations. <laughs> Kidding me. Wrong answer. I'm not surprised. Wrong card game. I do five and then I do two, 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 too much variation. Oh, baby. Ah. Five, two, 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 two. I'm just gonna crack it. <laughs> Computing power. Let's go convergence, baby.
Someone in Mather. <laughs> the help. This is such a classic game, don't know. Time limit 20 seconds, never mind. Can we kind of think in a different way? So let's say for 0 and 1, 2. At the end, the, the biggest possible sum is 3, right? After which, and then we're gonna do 3 rounds. What's the first round gonna be? Uh, first round. There is twenty of the after third round, it's hundred percent chance this is zero. After three rounds, or after Two rounds, I guess. Three rounds doesn't really matter. Curious where people are coming from. Do you guys come from binary search or just Twitch? Am I even still on? Search. I cheated the algorithm. Damn, someone said 300 people now. Wait, I'm the one third. It does stream like three times as long as I do though. Likely, this value gonna be used at all.
fairly the probability that this is picked before all of this. <laughs> Within three minus one rounds. First round, it's two to the three. Uh, square, then this is also. of this value being picked before the rest, before the values are RG did it. By round A minus one. Um round one there's a one third of the chance First round two. Uh, round two is zero. <laughs> Picking this before number two is a uh, one third round two. Picking this before number two is one half. If you better pick zero, ten times uh, one half. This is just one. It's guaranteed to be be, be used. That's fine. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to do it within 15 minutes anyway. It's not like they call it easy. <laughs> so, oh, this give me one third plus one third. Jesus fuck me. Plus one fourth plus one. That's some weird number. <laughs> oh, hey, don't feel bad, Q Ultimus. <laughs> I only got the sample to work for Q1. I never got the rest to work. <laughs> It's okay, like, you don't have to. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like a, one of those brain teasers things if you kind of activate your brain a little bit. That's good enough. And one day it may become your interview question, right? I mean, after all these questions are asked by Google. Oh, this is my second time. It's funny because I, when I opened up PyCharm, I saw the code I used last time. <laughs> wait, wait, NBCC, you got 1.5. How did you get it? Am I missing some of my 
my math. <laughs> Wait, this is supposed to be two. This is fucking guaranteed to hit. Wait, it makes no sense. The expected value is 2.5, right? Yeah, 2.5, shit. Oh, you did 1.5 questions. Got it. I thought I got 1.5 of the expected value. <laughs> nice, congrats. Bridget. Your rotating algorithm work, huh? They give out answers afterwards. <laughs> Kinda want to know the answers. <laughs> and 40 sounds like extremely low. Going to like thousands of users. I mean, even buying search is 400 people. of this being useful. Uh, shouldn't be plus. Um, What's the percentage of high schoolers out there? <laughs> Wait, this should be... Can you think of a different way? What's the chance of zero still being useful after two rounds? Zero. Because <laughs> we pick any of this. What's the chance of one being useful after two rounds? So it has to pick one half first. And then one half. And then one. <laughs> uh. oh, this is actually one third. It has to pick zero in the first round. Actually, it can pick uh, one in the first round too. Just you don't know why you wanted my code. It's completely different from yours. Damn. Really? It's funny. My well, some of the my biggest audience. On YouTube, it used to be from India, it was like 79%, it's not even, it's not even close. But now, I think America is like 15%, and so is India, it's like 10% something. But you know, it's, it's an English channel, and then 
It's published in California, so it's a little bit surprising. <laughs> oh. Dude, you don't have to. If you want to see my logic, you don't have to ask me to send a call. I can, I can explain it. This one out yet. <laughs> also, wouldn't this be kind of bad? Like, if like this kind of competition, if let's say I start a stream and then I have like two thousand viewers. <laughs> And then I organize my viewers to like write on Google Doc if you figure it out. <laughs> Wouldn't that annihilate the whole whole ranking? <laughs> yeah, Twitch favors top guys. That's why I was planning to like st strictly go on YouTube but the YouTube streaming experience was terrible <laughs> software is so slow and for some reason I got more engagement on Twitch than in YouTube so oh really? oh that Google contest? So I've like zero Oh yeah. <laughs> but they probably won't figure out but if they run like those plagiarism tests you probably see twenty thousand of the same solutions. <laughs> oh thanks. My coding style one time one of my friends told me it's very unique. <laughs> it's very uh it's extremely explicit and then it's like he can see a lot happens from embedded programming. <laughs> No, like I would have like 500 people work on one problem and then 500 on the other one and then 500 on the other one. <laughs> we just need 2k. You can put 500 headcounts on each problem. <laughs> the moment they figure it out, it's like, boom. Completely ruined the, ruined the test, kickstart. <laughs> Q4 is actually... the idea is easy. <laughs> I actually wrote the simulation for it like very quickly. But it's not a simulation problem. <laughs> no man, I don't care. I'm, I'm just going to do 1, 2, 3, 4. <laughs> I don't need a score anyway.
Do I like Google Style or Lego Style more? I fucking hate this Google Style, man. <laughs> Honestly, I think binary search, like, I'm not even biased. I think binary search has the best feeling, best UX. Lico is meh. The problem substance? Uh, oh no, doesn't really make a difference. They feel, they feel the same to me. <laughs> Awesome, awesome. Yeah, that's what uh, streamers like us do. We we drag more friends to the to the platform. Yeah, that's a very fresh idea, actually. Competition in the what the player. All right, the mo is gone. Oh. On the end of recording. <laughs> Thanks for watching. That was a tough, tough competition for me. <laughs> Looks very standard questions though. But anyway, see y'all next time. Oh, by the way, there, there probably won't be a stream tomorrow. I'm gonna not be back in time. Take care.